hey, this is my new series on here called Sleeping on Shit. And these are, I'm going to be reviewing albums that I slept on. I have not, I technically have not slept on after laughter, but I'm still reviewing it in this video. I'm sorry. Anyways, quick update. I'm going to be posting astrology videos on here again because I changed the um, format of Catharsis Cake to be anyone who has a video that is not fitting with their channel can throw it on there if there's space on the channel. And I'm going to be doing that with my experimental videos. And yeah, it's just going to be really just like a mesh of things that we don't feel like is fitting with our channel. So yeah, what can I say? On to the video. More ironic than Pink Comic Sans. Okay, so basically I'll be reviewing four albums. The first album will be Gusto by Daisy Bones. Second one will be Graveyard Shift by Motionless and White. Third one will be After ugh, After Laughter. I want to say After the Party, but I'm not reviewing that. I didn't. I slept on it, but. I didn't figure technically I did. I don't know. It's one of my favorite albums of 2017 so far, but After Laughter by Paramore. <laughs> Not After the Party by the Men Singers. We can talk about that one though. And the fourth one will be um, Adornment by Grayscale. So check those out onto the video. Okay, so I hit myself. First one on the list is Gusto by Daisy Bones. And this one is off of Ambrasive Music, the web label. And honestly, I should probably listen to more things off that web label since it is, you know, a Massachusetts based one. So it's all local stuff. And you know, this is one the album's on. It was released on 420. I just never, you know, heard it and because Mercury Retrograde. I'm just like, I don't feel like look listening to new stuff. And I slept on it until yesterday. So basically, I feel like shit for sleeping on it. It is, it has the vibe that I get from In Bardo by White Arrows, like I can lose myself and basically put my mind into the music. And also ha with How to Be a Human Being, my glass animals, like my mind just goes into the music and I just, you know, feel lost in it. Yeah, it, this album has that same vibe to it but it's like more intense. Basically, the, the album pretty much goes over smoothly. Like it has full you do transitions. Honestly, it really does. I'm not even joking. And just everything just makes sense. And you can totally like just throw your brain into it and start dancing and get lost and be like, yeah, I want to see Daisy Bones live now. And I also want to buy this album because that's just what I want to do. I can't buy this album right now, but in the near future, I probably am. So that's how much I love it. <laughs> Basically, my favorite songs off of it are Hunter and Weak. When it comes to Weak, there is an emotional connection to it. I just feel like my heart goes in with my brain into that song. And with Hunter, it just has this crunchy, grungy vibe to it. I just totally can jam out to it. Uh, once falling hits, I just lose it. Like, literally, my brain just fully goes in, like, totally into it. It, like, it, it fallings towards the end of the album, but my brain just, you know, fully says, yeah, I accept the vibe, even though it's the end of the album, but I'm just gonna still jam out, because, you know, there's a couple songs after falling, but that's when you know that you have fell in the album. No joke. It's kind of funny. So basically, that's just how I feel about it. I showed my friend it, and he's just like, this is pretty good. And honestly, I didn't expect this album to be like this, okay? I did not expect it to be a whirlwind of, like, connections, I guess, and losing my mind into it. Like, it would be another How to Be a Human Being and Embardo for me. And if you don't know, those albums, you can get easily entranced by them. This is like one of those albums, even though it's more raw and more grungy and more, you know, beach rock instead of like this alternative pop, like electronic kind of thing, you can still do that with this album. And basically, the, the, um, it does end nicely. I forgot the name of the last track because I forget track names easily, but when it comes to the ending, 
it kind of goes on to a like an acoustic note and that's how it ends off and yeah it just comes together let's see what else did I say uh, would dance like a hippie to it any day I 10 out of 10 recommend I'll put the Bandcamp link down below because honestly this is too good it really is it's too good to be true I'm not joking. Wish I was. Actually, I don't wish I was. Why did I say that? J just check it out, okay? Okay, second album is Graveyard Shift by Motionless and White, and I do not recommend this album. This album was made for 15 year olds who don't know who Corner Marilyn Manson is. Well, they know who they are, but they haven't really listened to their music because they're young and they're from, they were born 2000s. So yeah, not the year 2000s, but they were born in the 2000s, okay? They were on the late Sagittarius Pluto generation, okay? That's what this album was made for in WWE soundtracks, okay? That's all what this album's for. And honestly, that's really how I feel about it. I do feel an emotion connection to the latter. I do like 570. I now like Internally Yours after hearing the whole entire album. You know, I like Queen for Queen and, and um, Untouchable, but... This album just does not really vibe with me after that. You know, I the songs I li like I mentioned, I just think are decent. I don't know if I'll return to this album. Honestly, it does not vibe with me. It doesn't vibe with a lot of people too, and I hope Chris, Ricky, and Ryan take something from that and make something more badass and, you know, amazing than they have before. You know, honestly, my favorite album by them is Reincarnate. You can disagree with me on that. You should. Honestly, my music taste is trash. I have If I'm the Devil in that vinyl collection. <laughs> Judge me. So, that's basically, you know, my feelings. I like the more electronic stuff, and I like, you know, how they implement that. But honestly, this album <laughs> is just not doing it for me. Um, the only thing I really hate about this, other than the album itself, like, I don't really hate it. I just think it's meh. Like, it's just, it's, you know, not the best Emotionless and White album. I feel like it's the worst. I'm not joking. It's a, you know, I do like Emotionless and White as a band, and I can respect them, but honestly, this album just is not a vibing album. But another thing I hate about it is, like, how reviewers and people who like Motionless and White act like Not My Type is a serious song. Like, it makes me laugh. Like, honestly, no offense, but you sound stupid. Like, I'm the stupidest person on earth, and I'm saying you sound stupid. Like, honestly, it kind of makes me, like, be enraged because it's so funny. I'm not even joking. Like, what? You think this is serious? And you're saying, oh, they're spending money on this song. Does that sound, like, not serious to you in a joke? Well, yeah, it kind of does. I listen to Mindless Self-Indulgence. I have seen, well, I haven't seen Bo Burnham, but I've seen his stand-up movies, and I've heard his music, you know? There's probably some production money that went into that, obviously, you know? Yeah, I believe you can spend money on a fucking joke for a comedic buffer, okay? Or just have a comedy album, okay? I do understand that. And honestly, if you act like Motionless and White is not sexual and doesn't have, you know, not so meaningful songs and just has a, just a giant sexual overtone, well, you're wrong. There are songs that just have that sexual overtone and it's just about sex. There are a bands. And you have to note, most artists have, you know, those songs that are just about sex. Like, literally, they're not going to be all this deep, like, I'm here for you. I understand your pain. You can be different. Fuck people. Fuck the haters. You know, not every Motionless and White song's about that, and you're acting like it? Dude, listen to their discography. You know, stop listening to Creatures, pick up Infamous, pick up Reincarnate, then talk to me, okay? Not My Type is, like, the continuation is dead as fuck. Have you not listened to Dead as Fuck? Like, honestly, I'm, like, so done with that. You know, whenever I think Emotionless and White, like, literally, the only thing I could think of, grave like, during my time listening to Graveyard Shift 
was basically how much this band reminds me of the sign Scorpio. Like, literally, I just started thinking about astrology because I'm like, dude, I'd rather think about that than listen to this album because it's so boring. But basically, when it comes to this band, there is an intense side to it where it's emotional and it's understanding and it's deep and you can look into it and say, wow, I relate. But then there is a side that's sexual and intimate in that sense. And that's really just what I think about this band. And yeah, even Chris said in like an interview that he has to take control over his band and what happens within the band. You know, he is the ringleader there. And um, basically, if that doesn't sound Scorpio to you, I don't know what does. And honestly, he has mentioned some of his songs has sexual overtones in them, okay? Like, I mean, that's just what I think about Motionless White. Like, I'm aware of their sexual side and how they implement that into their music. And it's so obvious. I don't understand how these people who sound like seen little fucks can say that there's not a sexual, not so deep and heartfelt side to Motionless and White. Because they haven't listened to anything past Creatures. And I promise you that. Do not check out Graveyard Shift. You know, check out what they have after Graveyard Shift. Because honestly, that's going to be the thing that is going to wow everyone okay graveyard shift is where they're transitioning it's their transitioning period to what what's coming next because of how eh, it is so yeah that's like my thoughts on this album honestly i think chris is gonna get so mad ricky's gonna get mad and ryan's gonna get mad and create something better or at least that's my hopes honestly please get pissed make something better, show everyone that there can still be a good Motionless and White album hitting them in the face. Thank you.